the story that I'm going to tell you. It's it's the story that happened before I was such a hero in the public's eyes. There's only one hero in this story, and hopefully by the end of the story you will understand who that hero truly is. Are you doing okay, Aaron? I mean, besides being forced into bondage and work my hands until they're bleeding every day. I mean, there's like 20 guys to every two guards. Why doesn't anybody stand up for themselves? I think they're afraid of what the mayor's capable of. I want you to go extra hard on the homeless. Let them know who's in charge. Sometimes it takes that one person who can stop and see that what is happening is wrong to step up and fight back. I have seen my people suffer at the hands of the new mayor. I'm the one that provides food, shelter, and discipline. Public doesn't care about you. Nobody cares about you. I have come to save them from this evil. I want to bring them out of where they are being held in bondage. We're gonna have to get the entire homeless community together. That's the prince with no palace. Why would you bring him here? You put us all in danger. Have you forgotten what we've been through over the last 20 years? Well, truth be told, what we thought was our salvation in the beginning has turned into genocide. Our brothers, our sisters, and our sons are all in danger, and many of them have died because of the mayor. So to say that this man puts us in any more danger is already naive to the fact that the danger we're already in. It's times like these that you have to have faith and remember that God is for us, not against us. what God will have us do.